Hey guys, the camera, so welcome back to some more Dragon Quest in the last episode. We we saw the abbot die by Domingus right in front of our eyes, but now we are traveling with Angelo to Ascantha, and we are already halfway there because we traveled all the way to the Riverside Chapel a couple episodes, a few episodes back. Now, we are about to kill these slimes. They do so much damage. But we'll kill them. That one's dead. Nice if you drop the bandana so I can make a turban out of it. But we should probably heal up a little bit. Actually, we're fine. For the time being, we're fine. But now we're on our way. This should be interesting. Kill it fast. King never listened to me. what it does, and I'm glad to have that. Wasted turn. Alright, so I'm just gonna heal myself. Heal Yangus up, and now let's head on towards Ascantha. At least we're getting gold while on the way. It's good. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. Told you. Oh, I can kill you easily. The punch means nothing. You're dead. Yep, right there. There it is. I scant them.
gonna check how much gold do we actually have. We have nothing, I believe. I don't even think I can. How may I help you? I don't even think I could buy a better shield with that. I can! Buy two of those, yes. I will. Yes. check this real quick to see if anyone can equip this shield transfer. Yeah, Angel. Yeah, equipped. Perfect. Transfer this to Yangus. Yes. And you already have yeah, yeah, you do. So, I can sell that scale shield. Uh, that much? Yes. Um... So her defense right here is 48, so I could sell that, and get that to 53. Yes. Perfect. Anything else? Some earrings. And then there's the turban that I, I know I can get, but the game's just like, Nah. nah. I don't wanna. But let's just go in here. Are you feeling all right, Your Majesty? It's me, Emma, the maid. I see you haven't eaten any of the lunch I brought you, Your Majesty. I'll be sure to bring you your favorite for supper. Please, Your Majesty, please answer me. I just want to make sure you're all right. Very well, we'll leave you in peace. Excuse me. He's hardly eating a thing either. And I could hear him weeping all through the night yesterday. He was such a benevolent and wise king when the queen was still alive. I'm terribly sorry I'm of so little use to him. I see. So it continues. It must be difficult for you, Emma. But I need you to keep trying. If the king cannot recover from this, the country will fall apart. I just... Don't know what to suggest. Ah, hello there. Do you seek an audience with the King of Ascanther? 
I'm afraid that His Majesty has been unavailable to visitors since the period of mourning for the late Queen began. Two years ago. He comes down to the Royal Suite every night, but I doubt that he'll grant you an audience. I realize that that must seem strange to you, but if you return after dark, you'll see for yourselves. All right. We just need to come back here when it's dark. How strange that you want to stay here at a time like this. Uh, it's for me to stop you. Rest until evening. Please enjoy your stay. Why'd you have to go to heaven and leave me all alone, my dear Sasha? It's been two long years. Time stopped for me when you left. I'm sure my heart died with you. Just one more time, even if in my dreams. If only I could just see you one more time. I must explain. The king is refusing to speak with anyone at present. Please forgive him if he caused offense. You see, he's never been quite the same since Queen Sasha died two years ago. If only it were possible to meet with those who've passed away. Oh, it would mean the world to the king if he could see his queen once more. You know, my grandmother used to tell me lots of stories when I was small. Lots of very strange stories. I'm sure there was one about a way to make any wish come true. No, oh, it's no good though. I, I just can't remember it. I'm sure she'd be happy to tell me if I went to see her, but I'm so busy with work here at the castle. I'm afraid I must ask you a favor. I'd like you to go and see my grandmother. She lives in a house west of here, next to a bridge. Could you ask her to tell you the old story about how to make wishes come true? Maybe it's just a fairy tale, but if there's any chance it might be true, then I have to try and help the king. I wish I could go and ask her myself, but there's so much to do here at the castle, and I, I can't leave him on his own. I'm really counting on your help. My grandmother lives west of Ascanther, in a house next to a bridge. I pray at church every day that the king will be happy again. Please, help me to help him. That is where the Riverside Chapel is. We just need to teleport back there.
Some mysterious force appears to be blocking it. What? Outside the freaking place. Okay. Not cool. Yes, that's right. Emma's my granddaughter. I'm getting uh, on a bit now, you see, so I know all the old Escantha folk tales. Let's see, an old story about making wishes come true. That must be the story of that strange hill upstream of here. It's said that if you go there on the night of a full moon and wait quietly all night, a door to another world will open. It's probably just a silly old fairy tale, though. I'm afraid I can't tell you whether it's true or not. It gets so cold and spooky up there, you... You see, I've never known anyone willing to stay the whole night to find out. <laughs> A mini medal! Yeah! Anything in here? Silk robe, of course. Of course there's a silk robe there.
But, okay, battle. With mummies. Friends, up to here in the next episode, we're gonna be going up the mountain that's behind the house and try and um, how do I phrase this? Try and find the rumor that grants wishes. I don't know how better I could put that. I do not know. Also, before I leave, also. But that's gonna be it for now. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.